Hey, boss man. What are we doing? Hmm? What are we doing? Say, so we're moving the cows out of the cover crop and back onto some pasture. Moving out here. Got some seed heads coming out. Need to start hammering on this pasture. <clears throat> they were in that cover crop for two weeks. What over two weeks? Let's see if they actually go in there instead of out here. I bet you some of these calves will go on past. We'll see. But we got a couple weeks of grazing off the cover crop. Actually planted that field last night. And looks like we're going to get some rain either this tonight or the next couple of days. So good time to get them out of there. <clears throat> hey, dum dum, why don't you go over the other way? Ooh, there's some thunder. Might get some tonight. You gonna get him, Wesley? Get him, Wesley. It'd be good. We're pretty dry. They're making some dust just coming out of there. But there's still some good ground coverage out there. Wesley, come back here. You're gonna scare all of them. Get over here. Got good ground coverage out there, so whatever rain we get, we'll catch and hold it in the ground for the corn. Wesley, get on the side by side. When you got bare ground out there in your crop fields, especially when you till and you get a hard rain, what do you think gonna happen? That loose soil and top soil, unless it's flat ground. But here in Virginia, we got hilly fields. It's gonna wash your top soil right on down the ditches and to the creeks and creeks to the rivers and rivers to the oceans and erosion. You gotta keep that ground covered, living roots holding it that way when you get heavy rains you catch all of it and a big heavy rain there might be a little runoff but not near as much when you got your ground covered compared to bare ground or tilled ground <clears throat> Wesley get on the side by side please you're scaring them Stop, boy. Ryan's going to get on your butt. Yeah, you chased him through there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I see it. You chased him in there. You scared him. He'll come back. No fertilizer on these fields other than the cows and unrolling some hay. Yes, you do have, if you got poor ground, you're not going to have grass like this for a while. You got to build it up. But once you get it built up, and you move your cows, it will take care of itself. But you gotta get it built up. <clears throat> you can't do this right off the bat with poor ground that's got cedar trees and broom sedge on it. 
you got to get the fertilizer out there, whether it's lime, cow poop, hay, whatever. You got to build it up to get the growth, to get the forage out here. That way you can trample some of the forage. Cows can eat it, poo on it. You got to get the volume. I mean, this stuff is, seed heads are up two foot easy. And they've been out of here for two weeks. We won't be back here for, shoot, probably a month, month and a half. So it's gonna have plenty of time to recover. And yeah, some of them seed heads will go to seed, that's fine. You're putting seed in the ground. We'll trample some of it the next pass. But like I say, out here on some of these fields, we don't quite have the water yet. Working on it. We just got the creek down there. Once we get some more water troughs out here, it'll be a lot easier to split these fields up and get higher stock densities. <clears throat> and in that field i mean there's they were had access to one field's 50 acres and the other fields the woods and everything another 10 so that's 60 acres they had free access to just roaming and they got I mean, you could have left them in there if we didn't plan another week, two weeks easy, I bet. If you wanted to, but wanted to get the corn in the ground and get these cows back on grass so the grass don't get ahead of us too much. Now's the time of year where, I mean, we've been dry if we would have had some rain this spring, which it looks like it's coming, now's the time of year if you wanted to custom graze some extra cows or steers or buy a few more, now's the time to run them to keep up with your grass. And if you got crop fields, cover crops to graze, now's the time to have a little extra, some more numbers in your herd. And then once summer comes around, you know, if you don't get any, you, the rain shuts off and you get rid of them and run your normal herd. Call it the spring flush for a reason. You get an abundance of grass and then you just need to manage it the rest of the year. <clears throat> but yep we're gonna make sure that fence is good on the other side it's just a poly wire fence separating this field between the other one there's a driveway over there and it's got a poly wire fence but check on that and make sure everybody made it and hope we'll, hopefully we'll get some rain next couple of days to get these crops up out of the ground and keep this grass growing. And even if it doesn't rain, we'll be good for pasture-wise for several months. Crop-wise, eh, make it a little tough. Crops got to have rain. But with that cover crop and there's still wheat straw out there on the ground, cow poop, put turkey litter on that field as well before the cows were out there grazing. So it's got plenty of, plenty of fertilizer and organic matter that's going to be built up. But yep, keep them moving.